hey everybody, it's Pun Hud. Well, I'm going to show you something real quick. Uh, real quick review of Elgato's new iPhone webcam called Epoch Cam. They've come out with this Epoch Cam for $8 for the Pro version. You can download it for free and try it out, but you lose a lot of the features that you get with the Pro version. But for $8, I think you'll be really happy with what you get. So let's go through the features of the Epoch Cam, and then I'll show you a comparison of the C920 and the Epoch Cam on an iPhone 11 Pro. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, like to this channel. This channel gives you tons of information on how to set up your live stream the best way without spending a ton of money. I want to show you free and cheap alternatives to some of the more professional tools and equipment that people use to set up their live stream. So OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, camera apps like the Epoch Cam that are affordable solutions for your live stream. So if you're interested in that, and make sure you like and subscribe. Also check me out on Twitch where I stream occasionally on twitch.tv forward slash the frugal streamer YT. And also if you want to hit me up on Twitter at frugal underscore streamer. It's a great way to keep in touch with me and to keep up on the latest news and video releases and that sort of thing. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so let's talk about the differences first between the pro version of Epoch Cam and then the regular versions you get for free. Of course, video resolution is a big one. You get up to 1080p with the pro version. You're locked at 480p for the free version. And then you get a host of options that are not available in the free version, including being able to choose which mode you'd like to connect to. I'm assuming with the free version that it performs like auto mode does in a pro version where it automatically detects the best way to connect and if you have it via usb i'm assuming it will automatically choose usb uh, you do not have microphone operation in the free version the pinch to zoom which is a nice feature in the pro version you do not have uh, manual focus flashlight hdr video which is really nice uh, dual camera zoom and then of course adjusting video quality and then you get stuck with a watermark in 40 in the free version too so if you want to get rid of the watermark you need to have a pro version again the pro version is eight dollars but i do recommend you download the free version and make sure it works fine for you before you go and buy the pro version okay so setup for the epoch cam is pretty easy so you want to go to epoch cam's website on elgato here and then go and first of all, download the app from the Apple Store. And then secondly, you want to download the drivers for your iOS or Windows PC. We'll download the Windows PC. Select the Epoch Cam, select your system. And then this is the latest driver, version 2.98. When you download it and you install it, you will then be able to use this inside of OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, whatever uh, software you want to use, Skype, Teams, Zoom, whatever. And what it will do is it will then show up as a video capture device inside of OBS Studio. So to add the Epoch Cam to a scene, you want to go to select the scene you want to add. I've made one here called Epoch Cam. And then you want to add a video capture device source. And here I've got one made already for Epoch Cam. Now what will what it will do is it will come up with this black screen with Wi-Fi and USB uh, showing here on the left. And it'll do this until it syncs up with your phone. And what you'll need to do is start up the app on the phone and then connect it whatever way you prefer. Now, I recommend that you connect this via USB because I think that you'll get a better overall uh, picture than you will with Wi-Fi or, or NDI and it'll be smoother too. Okay, so this is the Epoch Cam, full 1080p resolution, currently hooked up through USB. And I have it using the ARGB coloring. Uh, with the Pro version, you have HDR capability, so your color should be really good. Uh, so you could really tell that this is a you know the shirt. Actually, this is really close to what how bright the red is in this in this uh, jersey that I'm wearing. Uh, but overall, I mean, I think the camera looks pretty good. Uh, you know, it's solid. Now this is the One X camera. Let me see if I can get it on the wide. 
this is the ultra wide camera that you can see so you'd look pretty good i mean i'm pretty surprised uh with what the uh, camera can do uh, it's really nice now what i'd like to do is just give you a quick comparison to the c920 which i have set up here so let's go ahead and switch over to that so of course the camera on the left is the epoch cam the camera on the right is the logitech c920 that i currently have set up just trying to get as close as i can uh you know to getting it looking the same so a couple of things that i've noticed with the epoch cam compared to the c920 here uh, it looks like the epoch cam is a little sharper uh, it definitely handles exposure better uh, you can see the overexposure on my face to the right of the C920 where it's not as bad on the Epoch cam. I mean, just overall, I think that the uh, color looks better, a little bit more natural looking on the Epoch cam than the C920. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're looking at a, an $8 app versus right now a camera that's $100 on, uh, on Amazon brand new. Okay, so this is the USB, and I'm using the selfie cam on the iPhone. This again, this iPhone 11 looks great. Uh, color settings right now is in partial uh, ARGB uh, and a 709 color space. So you can kind of get an idea what you know it looks like. It's really quality. I really, I'm impressed with Epoch cam, uh, especially over USB. Looks really good, uh, nice and smooth. I mean, you can tell it's just it's fluid. There's you know. 30 FPS, you can't beat it. Um, great option out there. Really is a great option to try. And, uh, you know, again, it's free. And then in, to get the pro features, you would uh, pay $8 one-time fee. So anyway, the guys, that's it really for the video. I do appreciate you watching. If you like this video, let me know what you think about it. Hit like, uh, comment below. Tell me what you think about epoch cam um i'll once i get the android version once that's out live i will get that i'll test it and review it and then i'll compare it with the uh, iphone version and uh, we'll see which one may be better and which one's not but it'll be great to see that and uh really i don't have any complaints um i'm my biggest issue and that's more or less maybe myself being a, a non-apple user per se uh is having to have iTunes on and get to get the USB working, which to me is kind of odd. But uh, if you're an Apple user and that's what you're used to, then what well, you know is it really an issue? Eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But in any case, it works great as designed. And if you have a newer iPhone, you get all the full features of your camera that that iPhone uses right here in the Epoch Cam. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching again. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe channel, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.